Welcome back. Today I am building this converted barn, which is part of a challenge on Instagram. So if you don't follow me there, then follow me there and you can see all the hashtag and everything like that. But this is a shell challenge. So the shell was already there and I decided to make it into a converted barn, like I said. So a lot of the objects that I'm using are from Cottage Living just because it fits the theme a bit better. But you know, that circle window is from my wedding stories. And there's loads of other objects that are not from Cottage Living. It's all from the game. There's no CC here. And I really like how it turned out. There is no bathroom, so it's not necessarily a functional barn. You know, you're missing that bathroom, although you can sort of fit it uh, somewhere, I think. But if you can do it under the balcony, realistically. But, you know, it's not meant to be functional. It's just meant to look like a converted barn. I mean, it's missing walls and a ceiling and all that stuff in a roof but I really like how it turned out in terms of the items that I'm using and the overall look of it I went for a few different wallpapers sort of that wood look on one side and then the stone and then the wallpaper at the top the kitchen's super tiny it definitely doesn't have all the stuff that it needs like I said this is mainly just for aesthetic purposes I'm not playing with it I'm not it's not meant for that but I think it looks quite nice I mean you could still have a tiny kitchen like this it has the main things so yeah it is playable in that sense but I really like how it turned out like I said I'm using loads of objects a lot of clutter but not necessarily too much a lot of plants a lot of you know trying to cover the walls because I didn't have to make them medium size on the lower uh, side of the build just to fit that door which I wanted as the main door so yeah, some of the walls were a bit too high and I'm not usually, I'm not one to play with medium height walls. I usually just do the short version. So yeah, a bit difficult for me, challenging, I guess, to cover them all. But yeah, kitchen is done on that side. Then here I have like a study sort of area with that typewriter from Cottage Living. A bunch of things on the walls, a bunch of posters and sort of that. Um, yeah that gallery design so i do that over the kitchen over the study and over the lounge as well over the television on the right hand side in a second but i really really like how it turned out i know i keep saying that but yeah i didn't know what to do with the shell to begin with and suddenly i just thought converted barn which i wanted to build for a long time for a long time i just wanted to build a converted barn and i didn't know how to make the shell of it i guess so it came quite handy that the shell was already done also got that uh, sofa from the werewolf, werewolves pack which I literally bought as I was building this because I don't know I never want to play with colds for some reason I don't like the look of the werewolves but I did like their building by and the cast so I went ahead and it was discounted so I bought the pack and yeah that sofa and the rug next to it is from the pack and I, I really feel like it fits the cottage living sort of style a little bit maybe not all the items but those particularly so i'm just putting a bunch of plants around here thinking that someone who will live in a converted barn likes the nature so just adding a couple of things that table which i really like a bit of a dining sort of moment if you may a couple of books here just because you know you gotta find some stuff to put on this table on this side side table i guess another plant over there and at this point this wall is quite bare but later on i think i come back and that's when i do all the pictures and oh no, i do it now the gallery wall um i do it on the lower half now and i think later i come back and do the upper half of that wall which is quite bare at the minute so i do go back and fill that as well with loads of picture frames unfortunately i couldn't fit a double bed here which i really wanted to do but a single bed works as well i didn't want to cover the walls too much here just because I feel like that wallpaper is already quite busy so adding frames and you know things to the wall just feels like it's too much although I feel like maybe it is too bare but I do like it that way and then here on this little balcony area there's just gonna be a chair and a couple of plants which are just you know fake plants not fake but I put the plant pots where you can actually plant things and then just put some from build mode here I guess I do change for the lavender yeah there you go so they're just decorative and like i said i go back here to put more 
uh, gallery photos here, I guess. And I really, really like it. So I hope you guys did too. And if you haven't followed me yet, then please do so to see more of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.